Hundreds of people are concerned about a plan to install more than 100 uh, new power poles in southern Duval County, and they're worried the project is going to have an impact on home values. So this map shows where JEA plans to install the power poles and transmission lines. It's along basically Phillips Highway, Racetrack Road, near the Bartram Springs subdivision. Now, the utility company agreed to hold off on the project after more than 1,300 people signed a petition last month. Well, tonight the company is going to hold an informational meeting to answer questions that people have about the project. News for Jackson reporter Jennifer Reddy joins us live this morning. A lot of interest in tonight's meeting. Good morning. This is an issue that residents in the Bartram Springs area are very passionate about. Over the last few weeks, they've been handing out flyers, putting signs up in the neighborhood to make sure that everybody is aware about tonight's meeting. I spoke with several residents who say some of their concerns are around health issues, as well as concerns about the future of the, their, the value of their property. Meanwhile, JEA is taking measures to make sure information is out there. In Bartram Springs, it's hard to miss these signs, urging neighbors to speak up about a proposed power project. As a homeowner in this community, uh, it would be disappointing to see those lines go in. JEA wants to install new power poles and transmission lines along Racetrack Road and US-1 to connect power substations in Bartram Springs. The goal is to improve service to customers and create a backup if a circuit fails. According to JEA, they will be removing some of the trees and vegetation here along US-1, and that's where they'll be putting up some of the new power poles. On the other side of the tracks, they will not be removing any of the trees or vegetation that backs up into the back of Bartram Springs. That will continue to serve as a buffer between the power poles and the neighborhood. Ilex Kleimanhaga lives on the other side of the trees in Bartram Springs. She understands why JEA wants to install the power lines, but worries it will impact property value. She hopes they can reach a compromise. I hope that we're able to marry JEA's objective concerns and our community's homeowners' subjective concerns and find a middle ground so that it's not us and them, it becomes we. People interested in attending tonight's to meet meeting can go to Bartram Springs Elementary School. It starts at 6.30, lasts until about 8. Jennifer Reddy, Channel 4, The Local Station.